Welcome to Mommy Girl Cars. Um, today's video is going to be a video of uh, testing the quality of oil in these two generators. My last video I did was on um, 28th of February this year, that's 2021. Today is the 20th of September. So it's about eight months ago. I'm oh, sorry, seven months ago that the oil was changed in both generators. Of the two, we have this gas and petrol, and we have this solely petrol. The petrol generator is new, it was bought back in May 2019, I think. And uh, this generator here is almost eight or nine years old now. Um, both working. It hasn't been used much in the last, well, since the 28th of February. We haven't, I haven't really used it much. Um, but this generator has been used almost every day or every other day since then. So we'll check the generator. We'll check the oil quality in this generator. Um, once again, the oil that was used was a uh, Mobile One 0W40. Um, the oil has been in there now, like I said, almost uh, six months now. September, let's see. We're in the ninth month, too. Yeah, about seven months, six to seven months it's been in there. And this is the, the oil, um, keg of oil that was used. It took one liter to go into this engine. So, today we'll check, we'll check the quality using our test device. Um, let's get our test device ready, bring it out, and as a reminder, these are the results we, so we should get. Just bear with me, there we go. So we should get a bit of focusing on that. So between one and seven, it's, um, excellent to good. Fair is eight to nine, and red is bad. So we'll check the oil today. Like I said, this generator has been used almost every other day for the last seven, six to seven months. And we, as if you remember my last video. When I opened up the oil here, we had it all pouring out. Well, today I've put a little reservoir to collect the oil if that happens again. Let's start our, our collection. There we go. This time round, we're not going to have any oil leaking out. We can get. Uh oh, I've had a little stick fall out. Oh. 
tune, that should be enough. Uh, test. I can close this now. Well, at least this time it didn't pour out like last. But I have not touched the oil, topped it up at all. There's been no need in the last seven months. So let's get to the oil test stage. We bring up our oil. Bring up our cover. Put that oil test device on. Make sure the lights come on. Have our one and you can never apply oil onto the one and ten lights flash. Now we can apply the oil. And then let's see our results. Ah, oh, that's not bad. It's a three. Oil is still in really reasonably good shape. Um, it was a one. It's a one of those fully sanded oil, so it's always a one when we, as you can see in my other videos, it's a one as brand new oil. So it's been used on average two to four hours a day for the last seven months. Um, so I guess I'll probably have another, I'm hoping, <laughs> probably another seven months if I need to change oil, but we'll see. I'll check again in another two or three months. I might do it next month, we'll see. Well, two to three months I'll come and check the oil again and see. So you can see it's rather economical, it makes more sense using synthetic oil in these generators. Uh, I know most people don't and don't fully understand why. Um, fully synthetic oils do the job, you never have to top up. And your engines end up lasting eight years like this one over here. Well that's it for this video. Um, this generator that's now roughly two years old, just over two years old. Well thank you and goodbye.